fashion. There's been talk about young girls who have not been in school for over two years and might have gotten pregnant in one way or another. Should they be allowed to go back to school and integrate with other students? Or should they, should they not? Uh, this discussion happened earlier on and we have a report. Good morning, NTV. My name is my name is Sorry. Viva Aisha. Look into the camera. Eh? Yes. Good morning, NTV. My name is Viva Aisha from Dynamic Senior Secondary School, so on the found in Mukono District. So we have a debate bit whereby we are saying that should pregnant girls go back to school or those who even got birth. Should they go back to school or not? I'm against it because those girls will not give us ca enough courage for us who are not pregnant or, or who didn't give birth during corona period. As me, Aisha, I will not be encouraged to study to study because my friend is pregnant and she's in school. I also say, why can't I get pregnant or give birth and I go back to school, which is not good. My mind will not be as fast as I am when, I'm, when I have given birth or pregnant. So that's my point. Yes, uh, this is Arata Daniel, a Dan uh, dynamic senior secondary S3. As the motion has been stated that pregnant girls are to come back to school and I support the reason being every girl needs a bright future and there is no situation that no determines where to be. Now for me, for girls to be at school, they need, it calls upon the attention. A girl wasn't intended to get pregnant, but she needs a bright future. She needs the counselors, like the midwife, to be there to counsel them and to be with them. And the situation does not determine anything. Either they abuse you as long as you keep on what you want to be. That's it. I'm a low mercy, and I'm against the point. These are my reasons. Now, if they allow a girl who is pregnant in, at school, she will she'll have no constitution class, whereby if she is pregnant, now the stomach has swollen. Now she, she will say, now how will these people look at me? And she will be dozing in class, and the boys will be laughing at her. For she, 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 she have to remain at, at home because these pregnant women these pregnant girls, they need a lot of time to rest. Now, whereby she, if she's at school, she will have no time to, to rest, and she will be dozing class, dozing lessons, whereby she will even feel uncomfortable when she's with the other girls who are not pregnant. So those are my points. Um, I'm a sister of friends. Uh, for me, I, I propose this motion because you may not know the situation she was passing through that corona period. You may not know, you know, parents were not working. Maybe she's the one who has been looking for something. Some girls have been raped by their bosses, you may not know. And if, you, if they are there and they have young children, you can come at least learn for four days in a week and go back, you know. Um, and. Not that they, they need a lot of care because they need a bright future. Staying home does, doesn't going to help them anything. So I think they, can, they should come and stay at school, at least get something. You may not know. That may help them. I'm called Nam Tebi Esther. I'm not supporting it. Reason, those pregnant students, yeah? When they come back, they will not concentrate. I think those pregnant students, let them get courses. My colleagues are trying to say that. Let them come back and get something. Instead of coming back at school, let them get courses so that they get something for their children to eat. They should not come back at schools to waste their time. Let them get courses so that they get something to eat. That's all.
Thank you. Ambadinem Snavuka Joanita, I support this motion because me, I have a dream of be, to be a designer. Every girl who is there have have the same dream, and when he comes, when he comes back, her too will enjoy. Not like that to be like my colleagues. They are not supporting the motion. I I propose they should come back because they have dreams like me. They have dreams to be doctors, nurses, many dreams. We should allow them to come back. Well, very interesting things to talk about in the country. And uh, just go to our social media platforms and uh, tell us what's your view on this issue. But in the spirit of discussing important issues in the country, I have two guests in the studio, uh, Gilbert Sendugwa. ED Africa Freedom for Information Center and Nathan Bianima MP Bukanga North. And the important issue that we are here to discuss is <laughs> corruption. Can it be eradicated? Gentlemen, welcome to the show. Good morning, Idris. Good morning, dear viewers. Good morning. So uh, I'll start with you, Mr. Gilbert Sendugwa. What is the purpose of Africa Freedom for Information Center? What do you do? Thank you very much. Uh, Africa Freedom of Information Center, or Africa as we call it in short, is the leading and largest civil society organization that promotes transparency, accountability, and citizens' access to information across Africa. We have uh, 46 civil society organizational members in 24 African countries. And we work mainly with six African Union treaties that guarantee and recognize the right to information for uh, citizens. So on a daily basis, we work to ensure that government